यूएस क्रूड रिट्रेस्ड लिटिल यस्टरडे इनफैक्ट इट इज गॉन क्लोज टू एटी वन पॉइंट फाइव एटी वन पॉइंट टू जोन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस वाई इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट सपोर्ट जोन एट द सेम टाइम माई फेवरेट नेट गैस हैज ब्रीज टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स लेवल्स बट स्टिल आई एम वेटिंग फॉर इट टू ब्रेक पास टू पॉइंट एट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वाई आई एम बुलिश ऑन नेचुरल गैस वाई इट कैन अचीव थ्री डॉलर प्लस प्लस लेवल्स एंड वॉट टू ट्रेड अबाउट टू पॉइंट एट स्पेसिफिकली वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट अबाउट टू पॉइंट एट स्पेसिफिकली इफ नॉट वी विल रिकॉल दिस टूडे इन आर दिस एनालिसिस एट द सेम टाइम द नेक्स्ट अपडेट ऑन क्रूड ऑयल नेचुरल गैस विल बी रिलीज बिफोर द यू एस सेशन दैट इज ऑल्सो इक्वली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डू वॉज दैट डू प्रेस द बेल आइकन दैट गिवज यू द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ऑल्सो Every like, share, subscribe, and comment is a great motivation for me. I do read each and every comment. Do like; that's always a great appreciation of the for the efforts I put. So please press the like button and do comment, do share, subscribe at the max. With that, let's start. First, we we'll look into your screwed, followed with net gas. Do watch till the end. Now. crude on the early chart see why it has retraced from the peak yesterday we have discussed that only buying entry is above 83 and yes a sell entry below 82.2 can be taken and that is what has happened it has come down till towards the support levels you can see multiple candles getting rejected at around these levels hence 81.5 81.3 is still a very very strong support zone there now if you look at the movement on the early chart see the drop there retracement lower highs lower lows तो लोअर लोज सजेस्ट दैट एटी वन माइट प्रूव आउट टू बी ग्रेट सपोर्ट फॉर इफ एट ऑल इफ इट इट स्टेज बेरिशियर यू कैन ऑल्सो सी राइट नाउ इट इज गेटिंग रिवर्सल फ्रॉम एटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स लेवल्स एंड द रजिस्टेंस आर सीन एज एट एटी टू पॉइंट टू लेवल्स सी एटी टू पॉइंट टू वॉज अ सेल एंट्री यस्टरडे नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आवर बाइंग एंट्री टूडे बियॉन्ड दैट एटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन एटी थ्री लेवल्स विल बी सीन स्टॉक एज टिक एट बॉटम ट्राइंग टू रिव MACD is trading with a slight bearish bias and it is near to zero level. RSI is flat on the hourly charts. Coming to two hour chart, now look at the candles on the two hour chart. See, it has formed the tails. Prices are not willing to stay bearish, but at the same time, you can see the candles are red. It is none of the candles are breaching the highs of the previous candle, and hence we have to wait a little more in order to decide the buying entry. But yes, eighty two point two is a good entry for you to buy and expect it to rise more. Now at the same time we can see the support zone here at eighty one point three, eighty one point five, very very strong support exists here. Same observation what we have seen on the early charts. The stock is still looking down. MACD is moderately bearish, and see uh, MACD is after this cycle. This is completing its second uh, bearish leg here. RSI looking down, trying to trade bearish. Coming to three hour chart. Now on the three hour charts where this candle ends is going to remain important. If you just observe it closely you can see higher lows are seen here and uh, lower highs are seen this is trying to consolidate a bit hence at 81.5 you can sell however 81.3 81 levels are very 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 strong support levels stock has stick looking down macd has also crossed over trading with divergence and bearishness rsi is almost flat here coming to 4 hour on the 4 hour charts important point to note here is the candle where the price has failed to stay bullish and we have seen a retracement second point is the support it is getting from the 20 period moving average which is still keeping it in a bull zone or a buy zone also you can see uh just we have to eliminate this else the drop else the complete movement is engulfed between the top and the bottom of this channel and hence 81.281 levels are still very very important support levels crucial support levels below 81 is where the bears will take over for 80 dollar the next important support stock has stick rising back d has crossed over for a sell trading with divergence and bearishness and we can see the red candles there rsi is looking down coming to the day Now see on the daily charts we have seen this is the double top levels eighty three giving it resistance this is a candle opening flat and that is why we were on sell now see this candle and this candle are almost identical yes the price is here failed to stay uh, lower and has seen a good pullback and now the next candle here is a sharp green candle so once it stays below eighty one point two eighty one any point of time you have to stay short for eighty and in fact in fact. remember one point oil is divergent from the 20 period moving average it can again try to convert for one. there is a good probability for that that it can try to achieve lower levels but at the same time you can also note that 
if it breaks beyond 82.5 82.6 zone certainly more bulls will take over and beyond 83 sky is the limit for 85 stochastic overbought macd now see macd is converging for a crossover for a sell entry slight bearish sign this is because today's red candle will make it diverge and then the bearish mode on oil will uh, take place where we might see little lower levels 78 77 and in fact 75 levels cannot be denied stock i stick rsi near to overbought zone can try to pull this little down considering this i will recommend you to sell here at 81.5 with the resistance with the uh, stop loss at 82 here and a buying entry above 82.2 is a must but then 82.5 is what you should look forward to that is an 83 if these two levels are taken then only you should treat this as bullish till the time uh, it stays below 83 we have to put our stop losses are at our entry price so that in case of any reversal our trade closes in without any loss on the downside now if you are taking a sell entry at 82.81.2 uh, 81.5 you have to observe that 81.2 81.3 very very good support and then 81 till 81 extremely good support below 81 we may see a very good fall for 80.4 80 dollar .80 levels and below 80 can be also expected take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at natural and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch the 25th batch is going to now start in first week of september register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are available in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signal channel again reach out to the same ids for more details now look at the early charts for net gas net gas the prices were divergent from the moving average we can see it converging here the resistance at 2.78 and 2.8 is very very strong yes if you see it trading about 2.78 you can buy however i will look forward for it to break past by 2.8 2.82 zone beyond that just stay long for in natural gas we are going to look at three dollar levels very very soon now look at the early chart see the moving averages are too much divergent it can possibly try to uh, retrace a bit stochastic oversold macd crossing over for a sell at a slightly higher levels it can stretch it a bit down rsi is also coming out of the overbought zone here coming to two hour chart on the two hour charts a flat top red candles the 20 period moving average is little far at around 2.7 now remember the previous support levels resistance levels are now going to be the support which is now at 2.7 very good support 2.65 extremely extremely good support 2.65 and 2.62 extremely extremely good support for net gas stock is dropping here vertically may be willing to converge crossover for a sell and this crossover is coming at a slightly higher levels so it might continue for a bit rsi is still overbought it has to come out of this for a while coming to 3 r on the three hour charts likewise you can see the prices are too much divergent here it can try to converge however it is still bullish remember uh, till 2.7 2.65 zone is respected uh, one can buy at around those levels and possibly expect it to again break expect it to again break past 2.8 levels here stochastic looking down macd is in green trying to converge rsi is overbought it is trying to come out of the overbought zone Coming to 4 hour charts, on the 4 hour charts, first red candle here, we can expect second and third red candle, which might pull it down till towards 2.7, 2.68, 2.65 levels. Stock ISTIC overbought. MACD is extremely divergent and bullish. It can converge a bit. And see, uh, you can see this first cycle, second cycle this is half cycle and this is the complete cycle here so now it has completed the cycle possibly the red side of it may start soon rsi overbought and trying to come out of the overbought levels coming to the day now one point to note here is it has breached the resistance at 2.76 that is a very important point second point it is still got the resistance intact at 2.78 2.82 zone now this is the next resistance third observation here is it is a breakout out of this bullish flag here you can see this was the flag formation yesterday it has given a breakout whenever i think uh, whenever an instrument gives a breakout certainly suggests that it may continue to fly high so i will wait for now 2.8 to be breached on the upside stock is rising macd is almost at zero levels and rsi is rising considering this you can buy here at 2.76 but 
2.78 2.8 very very good resistance and still towards 2.82 remember this fact these three are very important resistance levels only and only if it breaks past 2.82 you can say that it is bullish and we can now expect it to fly high. so 2.8 2.82 you have to watch out for for today also look at this it is giving you see uh, first of all almost symmetrical formation here or uh, and after two stepping candles one bigger bullish candle has appeared now this can erase all the gains and this should not be treated as uh, bearish till the time it respects this zone at 2.65 2.62 hence first of all you can buy here at 2.7678 levels as you have discussed but then 2.882 levels you should watch out for at the same time a selling entry can be taken at 2.7 which is a great great support and below that you can still expect it to get the support at around 2.67 2.65 2.62 and 2.6 very 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 important support zone now exists at 2.6 2.7 zone hence you need to take your positions with caution on the uh, downside you have to be very watchful and careful on the downside till towards 2.6 levels below which where you can expect that it is going to return bearish if it stays below 2.65 2.6 levels then take your positions accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are available in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you and see you again before the us session thank you